Welcome back. This is the part 2B of this asset tutorial. In this part, we will be creating the player integrated versions of the C Sharp scripts. We will set up some character models and I'll show you how to configure the settings so your player shoots the ball right way. Okay? So I will be using two other models from two different asset creators. One of them is the Synthi Studios. Uh, they are great. If you're into low poly, they have tons of packages. And I will be using this spe uh, specific package, Polygon Fantasy Characters. And the other one is the, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Akis Hakis. Uh, he has some low poly assets too. I like his art style too. And I will be using some free animations from the Mixamo, especially the Ranger Ball Pack. So, in order to complete the player integrated version, you need some animations and models. And I don't have them, so you need to have them yourselves, okay? So, these models won't be included in the package, neither the animations. So, let's start. First, um, change our prefabs and uh, ball script. We won't be using the standardized ball because we will be integrating it to the player. Let's use a standardized ball for hand. Okay. So the joint related stuff is regular. Just press this one. Save it. The other part is the ball user anim, ball user pull hand and the state names and so on. So we need to configure the bow user first, okay? Let's go back to the scene. Let's start with the synth one, okay? So this is a synth character. I created some example animator controllers for you. Where are they? Uh, in standard, I said, Ex animator controllers, okay. So this is the first one. This has two different states for drawing, hold, and releasing. And this one has just drawing and releasing. I don't know what your game requires, but I created two different ones. They both have a drawing boolean parameter and they use that to in, uh, switch between states and so on. Okay. And I also created a script called, what was it actually? Let's see. Scripts, utility scripts. Example bow user control. Okay, it's nothing special. It just triggers the boolean parameter. Let's see. Come on, Visual Studio. Okay, as you can see, it just uh, takes the animator. It hashes the state name. Then it triggers when you press the mouse button, left mouse button. Okay, so let's return back. Um let's assign the example bow user controller one. Okay. Then open our bow model. Let's take the synth studios animator and put there. And bow user pull hand. So if we are we are probably going to hold the bow in his left hand and pull it with the right. So let's open up the um Hierarch hierarchical structure of the synth model with alt and left click so it opens up everything so let's drop the ball model into the right hand no no left hand I'm sorry left hand okay let's reset the position okay so let's start rotating it Ro not there rotate it 90 degrees, something around there should be fine because when he holds it, he's going to rotate it. Okay, this is a T pose. Okay, so let's take the right hand and put it in here. Okay, so uh, I guess it should be done. Let's try it because I set up the animations beforehand. It uses the Mixamo animations. As I said, if you don't have them, you can just check Mixamo. All of their animations are free and they are great. So let's try it. Okay, let's fix our camera. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> the offset is incorrect. So, and we can see this in view. So, let's. Okay. Now, let's see it. Okay, so the. Uh, errors, errors, errors. Mm, where is it? The town tutorial ball model. Okay. Let's see. It should be something like that. Okay, so the ball moment is correct, but the projectile offset is really wrong. So, what's happening? Hmm, it's probably, okay. So, we have an option in here that says projectile, where is it? Oh, it's in here, projectile on hand. Probably it's trying to locate the hand and it's going with the incorrect coordination so let's just try it like this okay when we uncheck this it spawns it on the string position but we actually want it on the hand so what should we do we should stop the game in this position okay let's look at this let's look at this transform let's reset the position Okay, so it's not reset it. It should be zero zero zero. What it is into where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay. It's zero zero zero, but it doesn't use the local offset. Okay, so that's the problem. Let's shoot this one. Let's open up the local position. Okay, now it's in the hand. Only thing left is that its rotation is offset, it, so Let's try it like this. Oh, no. <laughs> we should stop. Okay, again. It's zero, zero, zero. Let's put it something somewhere around here. Player integration is kind of tricky. So, okay, I think this is fine. Minus six seventy minus thirty five. Okay. Um, minus six seventy five thirty five. Am I dumb? Can I get it again? Seventy thirty five. Yeah, I'm kind of dumb. Let's change that. Okay. Then don't unpause. Just copy compound. Stop it. Paste components values. Then let's try it again. Now it should be working fine. Yeah, it's just the model is rotated on the wrong axis. Okay. So let's look at it like this. Oh, and now the ball is wrong rotated. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of tedious, guys, but it works. Trust me. Okay. Um, let's 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 let's. Where is the ball model? Okay, this is the ball model. Let's copy compound. Let's exit. Let's paste compound values. Let's change you like that. So you face there, and I also want a zoomed look, okay? So we can see it clearly, okay. Let's go to maximize on play. <laughs> okay, I mean, it works, it works. I'm shooting, I'm shooting. I can't like, Shoot like that, it prevents me from shooting. The animation states are a bit jittery, 
but what matters is that the bow is working. Okay, so I'm going to do the same for the other model to just show you that it works. As you can see, it requires a lot of playing around and finding the right position because you are trying to integrate with the bow models and its position and rotations of the joints. So it's not actually that easy. I hope you can understand why it doesn't work right out of the gate because the positions and the rotations of the player affects the bow. So we should just play around with it, the positions, rotations, and it should be fine after some specifications, okay? You should just tweak the values and find the right ones for you, but it works. So I will be doing the same thing for this model, just to show you that it works for that too, and then we'll be done. Because the standardized bow forehand and the bow forehand bull works the uh, same procedure, just the one uses the animator states and the other one uses the animator bulls. So wh whichever one your character will be using, you sh can just switch the scripts, okay? Okay, so after some configuration, I, I managed to create a decent look for this guy too. The projectiles are being fired off, they are being integrated, and the bow simulation is fine too. You can tweak the values and create a look for yourself. Like, let's say that we want this bow to, or this bow. Let's make it on this, okay. Let's say that we want it to bend like crazy, okay. Let's say 20, 20, 20, okay. And now, <laughs> it creates a weird shape, but as I said, you can just customize however you want it, okay? I hope this helps you, and if you have any questions, I left my support email in the last page of the documentation. Just ask me, and have a good day.